Cheryl Robb, uh, Columbia telling students to shelter in place as that police activity on campus was intensifying, as you were mentioning. And we have just learned that that building on campus that was occupied, it's now been cleared and there are no reported injuries. A police source is telling ABC News there have been about four dozen arrests so far. The NYPD taking control and moving in on Columbia's campus tonight at the university's request. Oh. A police in protective gear swarming the area and making arrests after telling people to disperse. The operation happening after protesters smashed into Hamilton Hall overnight and barricaded themselves inside. Columbia releasing a new statement calling this a law enforcement matter and adding that the NYPD were best positioned to determine and execute an appropriate response. Police were faced with protesters linking arms outside Hamilton Hall. Video moments later capturing officers entering a second floor window of that building. Protesters have been demanding that Columbia stop supporting Israeli interests with university funds. Many of those choosing to stay facing arrest and being herded onto buses. Police moving strategically to secure the campus, pushing many protesters off campus where tents had been erected. Well, it's going to be a long night at Columbia and Columbia saying tonight that they believe the group that broke into Hamilton Hall, they were led by people who are not affiliated with the university. Now, the school has asked the NYPD to stay on campus until at least May 17th. And so we're going to be continuing to monitor the situation in the hours and the days ahead. But a long night in New York tonight, Rob. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.